big teaser trailer. We want to ask our creatives, how do you feel? Na papasok na po tayo sa panibagong kabanata. Na iyak to his lips. Overwhelmed. Uh, we want to ask the Rec Ace first, how do you feel after seeing that big teaser, big trailer? Uh, I'm excited. Very excited. Very, very excited. excited. We're so excited. Yeah. Uh, why you don't know? Can. 但是一定要知道爱人哈。但是你讲，it's we know it won't be easy because shooting in another country would be very hard and it would be more challenging because we're not in our home court with uh, lesser people with us but uh, we went there with a the mission and with what I saw, uh, we're happy with what we saw uh, We had, I think we achieved the goals that we set for ourselves Alright, thank you uh, We want to also ask uh, the newest director na kasama po natin sa Bago Kabanata, Rick Ian who is here, ladies and gentlemen, Derek Ian Lorenos. Joining the fray, joining the mission para sa new season ng The Iron Heart. Alright. Hi, Derek. Hello. Okay, you want to say hi to everyone first, Derek? Um, thank you for waiting, hi everyone. Um, hope you're having a great time and I'm excited to meet the cast. Congratulations to Team Iron Heart for the year. Woo! Season 2 na. Ang sarap pakinggan na. Season 2 na. Alright, Derek, uh, as you mentioned, Season 2 na. Anong nararamdaman nyo? Is there pressure? Uh, Do you feel any pressure right now? There's always pressure kasi lagi sinasabi nila. Um, whenever there's passion, there's pressure, there's potential. So, uh, as long as we're all excited, it needs to be that kami dito passionate sa project na to. And, well, thank you for having that commitment. And speaking of passion, Chepre, I'm getting the same one. You have to credit the the story, kung saan pupunta yung uh, ikwentro ng mga characters natin. It's because of our creative managers as well. We want to ask Sir Henry, ano pong nararamdaman nyo? Panibagong kabanata na ng The Iron Heart. Actually, ano na, uh, I was with them when they were shooting sa Italy noong mga fights. Sana so, all. <laughs> sumama ako, hindi, sumama ako, hindi para ano, tulungan sila. Pero, buti ba maki-brainstorm para sa next thing. So, Pero nung yung nakita ko na yung mga pinagagawa nila, ah, ano si Kidlo po talaga po. So congratulations talaga Woo! sa inyo, sa mga gagaling kong mga director, at sa akong mga artista na mga gagaling talaga. Binigyan nila buhay. Kasi yung kwento sa amin, madali lang kami mag-create mag ng kwento. Ang mahirap talaga yung execution, lahat na kapag-execution. Kasi we can imagine, pero mananatili lang yung sa imagination namin eh. Kung hindi magaling na may execute ng mga director, at may magaling na may perform ng mga artist. Wow, wow, Congratulations. Wow, wow, wow. 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 Actually, ang nararamdaman ko is gratitude because uh, pinapasok niyo yung Iron Heart sa buhay niyo, sa pamilya niyo. You welcomed us. When coming into the program, sa simula nung kalabas, we, parang sinasabi ko nga before, parang we had the stakes against us. Kasi uh, hindi madaling gumawa ng action and at the same time, we don't have a lot of money. So parang, but when you look at Iron Heart, when you look at Italy, the action sequences, and just as said by Richard and Nina Direct, it's not the money, it's how you do it. It's not the money, it's how passionate you would want to tell a story, to act, to direct, 
to bring the best to the audiences. And I'm so thankful because we were given this opportunity to do our best. Because not everyone is given the opportunity to do your best. Sometimes you're just told to just do something. Alam mo yun, yung parang, ay bahala na kahit ano na lang. But this is, and I'm so thankful because this is not that time. We, I mean, the, the network is suffering and we had a lot of problems and all that. But still, we delivered. And I'm and still delivering. And I'm so thankful for, for this chance. Thank you for that answer. And when you answer that, pumapasok sa utak ko yung ano eh, yung OST ng The Iron Heart. Palagi may tanong, sino ka ba? And with your answer, just uh, prove to everyone, ito ako, ito kami, The Iron Heart, we're entering season two. Sir Richard, how do you feel about that? Yes, we're very thankful. Um, kaya sa akin ni Jay, um, our attitude right now is gratitude. And we want to thank the audience. Uh, we want to thank also Cebu um, for accommodating us, um, welcoming us in Cebu, yung local government at lahat ng mga tao doon talagang welcome to me. Full support ng Cebu sa amin. Naging tahanan namin ng Cebu for, for nine months. And we're very thankful. Napakaganda po ng Cebu. Thank you so much, Cebu. Sa lahat ng mga Cebuano, Cebuana, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. And now we're ready for season two. And abangan niyo po kung saan kami magsushoot ngayong season na ito. Uh, gusto namin pasalamatan ng Cebu, pero gaya nga ng sabi ng uh, head ng marketing ng Star Creatives, puso daw ang lipatan ng bahay ngayon. Hindi pa tayo natahanan at uh, makikiuso kami, sasabay kami dyan at ang um, Iron Heart ay magkakaroon ng bagong tahanan sa Season 2. And we're very thankful uh, for the full support ng lahat at uh, nakita niyo naman yung shoot namin sa Rome. Uh, Napakahirap po na pinagdaanan namin sa Rome pero sulit, sulit lahat ng pagod namin at uh, lahat ng hirap namin. And talagang yung passion namin ang drive dito sa The Iron Heart, and it's for our audience, para sa lahat ng audience natin all over the world. Um, kakagaling ko lang sa TFC Tour. Um, I went to three different cities, at nagpapasalamat ako sa lahat ng mga Pilipino abroad dahil hanggang doon, full support sila sa The Iron Heart. Ramdam ko po ang support na ninyo. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Right. from Cebu to Rome, later we'll be revealing kung saan nga ba gagawin at season 2 na The Iron Heart. Alright, and uh, since nakapagsalita si Sir Richard, we want to ask you another question right here. And people are just concerned eh. <laughs> with your well-being. How do you feel that The Iron Heart is actually reaping success? Was there a time na nasaktan ka ng totoo because of my fight scene in the show? Sa sino na nakit sa'yo? The question comes from Miss Anna Rama. <laughs> To be honest, um, sanay naman ako sa martial arts, sanay ako sa, sa action sequences. Pero syempre, yung mga ginawa namin dito sa The Iron Heart, we took it to another level. But all the time, pinag-uusap na namin nila direct at lahat ng mga stunt choreographers and stunt men namin that safety is a priority. We will not risk any injuries as much as we can and very thankful na na up to this day, you know, we've been doing it right, safety is a priority. Yes, nasasaktan kami, uh, pasa, gas, gas, suga, pero that's all part of action. And, you know, buti ganun lang yung mga nangyayari sa amin. Kasi sa lahat ng pinagagawa namin dito, <laughs> sa uh, the Iron Heart, you know, we could be in uh, worst case scenarios, but uh, thankfully with the right team and with the right mindset, um, Minor bruises and ano lang kami. Minor bruises and scratches. Pero that's all part of the job. Tindi yung mga eksena nila. How about si Eros? Was there a time na nasaktan ka? Um, because of a fight scene in the show? Yeah, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> I got kicked in the head the other day. <laughs> I got head kicks in the head. <laughs> Again, it's all part of action. At sino po daw yung nanakit sa inyo? I don't want to say who. <laughs> Another actor injured 
by me. It's all part of it. Sabi ko nga, sabi ko tap, tulad ng sabi ni Chad, we're on a mindset when we get to the set. So there's nothing that's gonna get in our way from taking this seat. Get on my So So like, even an injury, we're just thankful nga na wala pa nangyayari. And hopefully till the end, di ba? Yes, I want to congratulate Jake. Grabe pinapakita ang heart ni Jake dito sa project na to. Actually, siya yung talagang medyo humble na may pinaglalaman. <laughs> Physical injury, but he's doing everything for the show and I'm very happy to be working with Jake and giving everything for the show. Charge, it's an honor to work with you, but uh, like, I know. Like, sa akin kasi rin, I just enjoy every second working with everyone here. So, parang pamilya na talaga kami with the, with the staff, with the crew production. And then sa akin, for me, honestly, talaga, working with Charge exceeded all expectations. Talaga, it's an honor to work with you, Charge. See, seeing this morning, I think in a couple of months, magkakaroon na panibagong season. So, just wait for our invitation. Diba? Diba? And Sir Roy is agreeing. Okay, gusto natin yan. <laughs> diba? Diba? I want to ask Miss Dips right now. Is this question coming from me? Yes, yes, direct, of course. Actually, I, I really give it to the, to, the staff, to, the, to the cast and the staff because uh, everyone, when we started this uh, show, uh, everyone accepted that action, we're into an action film and action business is pain business. <laughs> Uh, alam nila na mag ginawa nila to kasama yung sakit, kasama yung untog, bukol. Uh, of course, we try our best to minimize the risk. Uh, there's no such thing as zero risk in doing action. It's always, uh, every time we would go into an action scene or a stunt, uh, everyone knows that we are embarking on a very, very risky uh, endeavor. Almost on a daily basis. So, uh, I give it to the uh, I, I really like to thank the support of Star Creators for really helping us minimize the risk. There's a risk, such thing as risk management. Kahit na all game and team yun, they are very napapagod sila na hinihigan, tumatakbo rin sila. Even, even the PAs, even the producer, they run with us. They fight with us every day. And of course, the cast na tatamaan, nasasaktan, nasusugatan. And nobody complains. Nobody. So I, I re we're really me and Derek Ace is very thankful for everyone for that. I think I'll take the opportunity to thank also our camera team. Because we have a lot of fights. We have a lot of fights. We fights. We have a lot of fights. We have a lot of fights. So yeah, everyone. Well, our camera team production, like, lahat lang tayo sa set, sa set namin nagbubuis buhay to create a beautiful show. So, thank, I mean, I'm just grateful and thankful to be working with this team. Star creators. So even the cameraman, everyone is right here. They're, they're, with, they're doing the fight scene with us. Oh. So, don't, don't say that doing the camera movements, doing the Ash, yeah. Kaya pala, ganda ng movements na. Ash, close up my, Ash, close up my sarili mo. Yeah. Ash, and then dust. Let's give our crew a big round of applause. Yes. And our team as well. Uh, Ash Thank and you. Pat and some of our cameramen, Sila Budik, Sila Big Bob, uh, they are one of the few very, very uh, special skilled people na merong dito sa Pilipinas na merong skills na din tawag na action cameramen. Because not all camera operators are action operators because one thing special about them they memorize the movement uh, with the actors they move with the actors so when the actors is acting in the acting space they they move with the actors so may choreography yun. so kasama sa choreography to magigiting natin mga cam ops so you know how you know your voice you have to know your position that like kaya pa na kahit anong galaw ko nakikita pa rin ako ganito <laughs> oh 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 oh, oh ha? Ah, ah, atawbli ka ko <laughs> sa season three. Wow, yan natin. Tumasak na ilikot ko, nakita ko na yung mic. <laughs> okay, pero tama yung sinabi, uh, this is uh, a job that requires pain and you sign up for it. No pain, no gain. And uh, talking about gaining, Miss Dimples, you have gained lots of traction for playing the role of Celine. This is a, a question coming from Jim P. Anarquan. Yeah, Jim P. Yeah. I'll ask a question on your behalf, though. How is it portraying this type of character? Bakit masaya siya? Going for you? Uh, did you expect na hahabang journey na ganito ni Celine? Well, ako naman kasi, uh, 
kasi pag dating sa Star Creatives, I always expect the best, no? Kasi wala, dati, <laughs> pag sinasabi nila sa akin, oh, Dibs, ha? Mga ano lang to, semi-regular, three weeks lang to, sabi sa akin sa babaylan yun, na Akala ko mabagani na rin ako nung time na yun, kasi kung nasan sila, nandudun din ako. So the great thing about working with Star Creatives is that I feel like they are growers of character. It's like when they see that you work very hard and the traction is very good, especially online now that everybody gets to say what they feel about your character. It's so open, it's so collaborative. So pag nasa set kami, pag nakikita po namin yung mga comments ng mga viewers, nakaka-empower siya. Nakakabigay siya ng lakas ng loob. Iba yung inspirasyon namin. Parang, syempre, hindi naman everyday we feel like we have iron hearts, di ba? May araw din po kami talagang pagod at may araw din na natatakot kami gawin. I'm sure even the boys, they are afraid also. Hindi lang nila ipapakita talaga. Pero kasi, when you see comments online and you gain so much traction, uh, not just for my character as a dean, but for all of us, lalo kay Orcos na, Ito si Baby Love. <laughs> si Baby Cake. So, sarap talaga sa pakit minsan eh. Kasi, yun, alam mo sa totoo, hindi pa ako sa, sa hindi ako nahihirapan masyado direct sa fight scenes. Kasi, nandiyan naman sila to guide me. I even have MJ. MJ does. Kasi, ako po, bagong panganak ako, I cannot do the twirls eh. It's very dangerous. Kasi, CS ako. So, I do all the rest except for the twirls, the mga tumbling. Hindi ko yan gagawin. At alam din naman po nila yun. They respect me. Pero doon ako hirap doon sa hindi ako tatawa pag si Kuya Christian yung nagsasalita. Kasi yung ako dyan, may sarili atang script ko na hindi ko na mabasa. Kuya! <laughs> Serious naman ako doon. Ano? <laughs> Serious ako na yan. Oo, oh, alam ko naman. But I just feel very blessed working with people who are very respective of each other's characters. Kasi pag ganun yung katrabaho mo, hindi mo sila tinitignan bilang competition. You look at them like teammates. Family kayo. Anong ikagaganda nito? Si Kuya, ewan ko, sinisira niya ang buhay ko talaga eh. Siya, hindi siya collaborative. Gusto lang niya talaga akong inisin. As in, pag dumarating pa lang ako, umaacting na siya. Kuya, paano nga yung acting mo pag may mga nakikita ka, mga tita, mga lola na talaga namang gustong gusto si Orcos. Meron kasing move si Orcos na siya lang ang nakakagawa. Kuya, pakita mo naman yung pakita mo ng yung sa chest mo, si Orcos lang nalala mo. Pero ang kagawin niya. Nakutang <laughs> rin. Sige na. Kasi pag nagtitipid mo kami, ang dami yung mga mommies, titas, ganyan. Gusto gusto si Orcos. Favorite siya talaga. Pakita mo, Kuya, dali. 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 I just spent na kasi kunwari may nakakita sa'yo. Eh, bakit naman nalang ulit ka? Ay, Orcos! Ang buwan ko pumunta ng gagrabe! Uy! Oh! Yung mga basic lang nalang ganun. Basic! Kaya ka nakasaad ko eh. Kaya ka nakasaad ko. Kaya ka nakasaad ko. But, you know, in all, in all seriousness, I think, I think I'm just, I feel very, very good that I'm even part of season 2. Kasi, sa season 1 pala nakakala ko nga, mabilis lang ako eh. Pero kasi, sinundan namin yung journey niya sa Dean. Ang sarap niyang sundan, ang sarap niyang uh, bigyan ng kulay. In fact, sa sobrang unpredictable, kahit ako po hindi ko alam kung ako ba ay kalaban o kakampi. Oh. Right, Derek? Because sumusunod lang ako sa pagkakasulat. And even when I would do scenes with Eros and with Apollo, I remember I said, injectan ko to direct na hindi tayo sigurado. Because in reality, I will tell you right now, Celine does not know. Dimples does not know at all whether kakampi ako kalaman. I think maganda yun naman. I think. Oh. So may unpredictability rin. Always. Even sa loob na uh, production, oh. even sa mga artist natin. Oh yeah, definitely. And I think that oh. adds the magic. Nandun yung kislap niya na hindi mo alam ko ano yung mangyayari. Oh. Pinawisan si Sir Christian doon. Hindi, sa, basic uh, gano'n. So, so Baka may lipstick ka dyan sa ano mo? Sino yan? <laughs> okay, maraming salamat for answering that and actually, doon din pa papunta yung tanong ni Kuya Alan Sanko na nakita ko kanina. Kuya Alan is here. Ayan. I hope nasagot yung katanungan niyo, Kuya Alan. May katanungan si Miss Franz. Ituloy na natin kay Miss Dimples since nakita natin yung interaction niya ni Orcos. As Dimples, ano advice mo kay Celine about Orcos? 
Would it be okay for her to give him a chance? Ah, ano ba yan? Bigyan na. Ako, there's always a chance between Celine and Orcos. Kasi, hindi naman niya pinipigilan eh. Tinatawag siya baby kicks, hindi naman niya binabaril. So hanggang hindi mapatay si Orcos, okay pa siguro. Kasi si Celine, di ba, pag hindi siya natutuwa, pinapatay niya. Or pinapapatay niya. Kaya humihin na pa yung Orcos, di ba? So I think that's a good indication na, ano? Ha! Uy, kuya! Natakot ako kala ko pa nang ginagawin. Natakot ako. Ganun ka unpredictable. No, but ako talaga, I think, Kaya nagte-trend palagi, sobrang viral yung Orcos sa Linus because na, nakakahinga yung audience dahil grabe talaga yung bakbakan ng the rest of the cast. Tapos makikita mo lang na merong dalawang gangsta na isipisigit pa nila yung love life nila. Nagkakapatayan na nagkakasigit lang na yung love life, di ba? At saka yung, ano nga, yung Orcos ay bibigay mo talaga kahit 60 na tong si Kuya. Ay, di ba pala? Sorry. 50, ano ka na ka mo yan? Bakit may age reveal naman dito? Ano ba? Wala ba? Hindi ba ako 50? Okay, 40. 46. Oh, di ba? Ganyan ang kuya ko. Ganyan ang peg natin in life. Tsaka si Sir Roy, kayo daw ang magiging peg ng lahat actually. Pero Sir Roy, how do you feel na you got...